Welcome everyone back to innovation. We are going to pick up with our program and start by going to my stuff and finding your program that we were working on yesterday. It should look a lot like this. And we are going to, um, I'm going to reset my population to make sure my population starts out at zero. So I'm going to set my variable population to zero. I'm just going to put this way up here at when green flag clicks. That way my population is at zero and I can see my dot is on the screen randomly every time I hit the green flag. And we had done that before where we set the variables, previous X and previous Y, by using the motion blocks and dragging those in. So now what we're going to do is build a complicated block that has our dot move around the screen. So I'm going to do this with you step by step. The first thing we're going to do is create another variable. We're going to call this speed. So this is going to allow us to make our character move faster or slower as it moves around the screen. We're going to go to motion. And we're going to find glide to with this one seconds to, and we're not going to leave this as random position. We're going to set this to a specific number. And we're going to use an operator here. The plus operator. And we're going to put in our variable previous x and now we got to do a little bit more here and to create something to allow us to keep track of which direction our dot should be moving we want it to kind of randomly pick the direction it's moving in so we're going to go into variables and we're going to make a list we're going to call the list flip and you can see right now it's empty we're going to hide all these things in a little bit and what i'm going to do is add to the list Two values add a negative one and a positive one that's going to make our character flip direction by multiplying when we get down to it by a negative one or a positive one and then the other thing we want to do is make sure the list is empty when we first start so we're going to delete all the flip this is all going to go inside of right here when green flag clicked. We want this to happen right at the very beginning. So you can see now when I hit green flag, well, oh, my dot is already starting to move, but we're gonna, it's not really moving anywhere specific, but we're gonna put in our flip motion. Okay, right now it's just going to random position, but we wanna do something a little bit more specific. So we're going to find where it says item of flip and then we're going to pick a random value between one and two because it's either going to be negative one or positive now it's either going to pick a negative one or a positive one each time and then we're going to choose how far it's going to move by doing a multiplication and then another random number between 1 and 10. Now we're going to put this block here right here inside of this first circle. And there we go. 
And then finally, we're going to put this right here inside of that first circle. Sorry, that second circle. We have to move this over a little bit. Being finicky. There we go. So that is our block that we're going to do for the x value. Oh, I have the wrong block here. We wanted this one to be a particular x value. Let's get rid of that. Go to motion. We want to do the x value and the y value, not just a random number. So to make this a little bit easier so we don't have to rebuild all this, we're just going to click on that plus sign there and hit duplicate. And it'll make the whole thing again. And all we have to do is switch out. Instead of previous x, we're going to do previous y. So now we can put in our x into the x block there. And our y into the y block there. So now when we hit the green flag, it glides in one second to that random spot from the previous spot that it was in. Now the only thing is that because we have to do this every time we hit the green flag, it's not actually moving on its own. So we want to make it so it does this forever in a loop. We also want to make sure that we can make this happen in a way that's cleaner and make our code cleaner. So I'm going to take all this code right here and just pull this off from the show all the way down. And I'm going to leave this stuff here attached to when green flag clicked. And I'm going to create a new block. And we're going to call it dot move. And I'm going to connect all of this code to dot move. So that moves the dot. The other thing I want to do is add in a forever loop. around this movement. This is where all the movement's happening. So I'm gonna separate those two, go to control and drag the forever loop, put it right here. And then I wanna put this whole conditional inside the forever loop. So now we are forever gonna be moving our dot around the screen. The last thing we have to do is call this method when the green flag is clicked. Now, I want to hide all these variables because this is very confusing on the screen. I'm going to go to variables. I'm going to hide all these values. The last thing I want to put in here is the speed. So I'm going to drag speed into glide. Instead of one seconds, it's going to be speed seconds. And I want to set the speed when green flag is clicked. And I'm going to set it to 0.1. So it'll make everything move pretty quick. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to hide the speed. I'm going to hide my list. And let's see how my dot moves. And you can see now my dot moves around the screen. And when it gets to an edge, it kind of looks like it flows to the other side. And now we have our dot moving around the screen. That's all for today. Next time, we're going to make lots of dots on the screen. Bye for now.